I have always thought that maybe I should have told you. The doctor did not lie. You are the same as me, Sakuya. We were never half brothers. You are my real brother. Impossible. I am the heir. I'm the heir of the Labelle family. Father told me so. Everyone told me so. I was raised for raised for no other purpose. I never told anyone that I switched the eggs. If father found out now, he'd throw you away. I did it for you. No, maybe I didn't. Maybe I just did it to spite that man. I killed the child he had with mother. That was the cross I had to bear. It was never your problem. I was happy just to see you living in luxury. You under what authority? Ah ha ha! None. You are right. I only ever listened to myself. But the doctor noticed. He must have realized. I guess I was doing what he said all along. Since I took your lineage. The fact that I killed the Labelle, the other father's child, will never leave me. I've never been able to forget. If you're blamed for that child's death, you have to press on. You can't let it stop you. I've always worried about whether I should tell you or not, and now it's too late. So, who to deny me in my lineage now? I'm sorry, Sakuya. I should have told you long ago. I was never as sure of myself as you. If I'm not of the Labelle line, what am I? I knew you'd ask that. Straightforward as always. Leave this place, Sakuya, and think about it long and hard. You have a lot of money. You have a lot more to worry about than just who your family is, after all. No, wait, Sakazaki. Stay with me. There's still so much for you to tell me. Uh, it's been a long time since we, since we talked so much. I talked to you every day when you were still an egg. Pull yourself together, Yuya. You can't leave like this. What am I fighting for? You said a little scalpel like that couldn't kill you. I should apologize about that too. Remember the headmaster. That was nerve toxin. You mean that scalpel had exclamation mark question mark? Go on, Sakuya. Leave your liar brother and go. The doctor must have a way out of here. You are yourself. Never let anyone tie you down. Later, buddy. All right. Well, Yuya. How long should that be? That's like seven A's there. Yeah. All right. Done. Fifth class end. All right. Three more. Three more. Six, seven, and eight. Three more. Oh man! Like this. This. <laughs> Look at this. You see how big this story is? You see how, like, this, this stuff? Insane. All of this was hidden behind the dating game. The dating simulator. All of this stuff was hidden behind all that junk. All of that was just throwaway. It's just there to waste your time and make you not like the game. And then they hide this stuff, which is the actual story, behind all of it. And you have to get all the endings just to get to this part. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. It's like... Why? Alright, it's 6pm. I haven't had much of a sense of time passing since the dome appeared, but it's already evening. The atmosphere in the maintenance office is tense. The doctor said he'd be waiting deep beneath the surface. Does this building have a basement? Certainly not one that appears in the official plans, but maybe. Under the medical center, but that one's blocked off with concrete. It does not seem to me that the medical center is in an entirely independent building. There may well be a path from this building into the basement there. Is there anywhere you might have missed something? Missed something or forgotten something? Somewhere I forgot to look. Oh, that's right. The encyclopedia from the library in the medical center, and the chronology and the medical records. I'd like to talk to Nageki again. You've thought of something? Yeah, I need to go check. Sakuya. Dots. He hasn't spoken since what happened in the infirmary. 
I can't blame him, I know how he feels. Better to leave him alone. Question mark, question mark, dots, dots. Nageki, I know. I'm worried about it too. Dots, you're fading again. Where are you? Nageki, there you are. What is it? I found out a lot about the school. And about you. I see. I suppose you know who I am then. Sort of, but there are things I need to ask you. That is why I'm here. The fire five years ago and the dome today, how are they related? Nageki must know something about the secrets the school holds. You aren't really here anymore, are you? That might be so, or it might not. I saw in the school records... It says you died five years ago in an accident in the medical center. I had become aware of that. I stopped my own clock here. That's why I can never leave. You stopped your question mark, in other words, at the very least I took my life through my own will. I am almost sure of that. So you didn't die in the accident. He hangs his head in silence. Looks like he can't remember everything from before he died. I need a clue. There must be a basement under the medical center and I need to get in there. Oh, that's right. The encyclopedia. The encyclopedia? You used to get... You used to go to the medical center, right? Did you switch one of the encyclopedias from there with one here? Why would... Uh, that's what I want to know. I guess I should just tell him. Look, you know how the encyclopedias here are out of order? There are two copies of volume 9 and no volume 6. The medical center has the same encyclopedias. Yeah, there are two copies of 6 there and no 9. How disorderly. Why do you need to say this again? Just pick it up and read it. Yeah, anyway, one of the copies of Volume 6 there has a library sticker on it. Someone must have taken it from here. Switched the encyclopedias. Dots. Mr. Kawara, try reading this copy of Volume... of, of, volume, of volume 9. Looking's worth a thousand spoken words, I guess. Then why did you speak so many words? Why don't you just pick it up and read it? Why did you have to say all these lines? This isn't right. It looks just like another book when it's closed, but it's a box. It's full of files. Some sort of documents. They are all from five years ago. These must have been... what does it say? That one. Let's see. Operation Hutterful. Well, this is talking about using carrier individuals as biological weapons to fight humans. It has the same title as the file in the headmaster's office, but I never expected anything like this. Meaning this school has been used has been being used for biological weapons development for at least five years. twenty one eighty New strains of Sumatera influenza isolated. 2183. A new strain has been isolated from Fujishiro Nageki. It is lethal to humans and has been named Charon virus. Is it Charon or Charon? Charon. It has entered research at St. Pigeon Nation's medical center. Charon virus. Humans I've met would always get very sick. Are you remembering something? Yes, I think so. I think I was the one who brought that book here. The birds with me in the medical center often did secret things in the reference room. I wanted to tell someone, tell someone important what was happening. The center. What was it? My family. It must have been my family. Dots. That's right. I burned. I had to disappear. Why didn't I notice? Did I... your help to see... Did I... Jesus, the... Can someone proofread it? Did I need your help to see is what that's meant to say. He paces nervously in circles, rambling on to himself. If you've realized something, it would help me to know what it is. I've remembered, remembered what happened here five years ago. I can't remember my parents' faces. I've lived in an orphanage with other birds my age since before I could remember. 
I never thought much of it at the time, but apparently everybody here was a war orphan, or everybody there was a war orphan. But I did not resent the humans who had started the war. I did not care. I thought that living with other chicks and no parents was as natural as could be. One day, the endless routine was broken, and some humans broke into the orphanage. They had guns and kept shouting, "Free humanity! Free humanity!" I think that's what they said. They barricaded themselves in our house and killed us one at a time. I was helpless. I could only hide in the corner and weep as my family was killed before my eyes. I don't know how much time had gone by since they came. When I looked around the silent room, they were all collapsed on the floor. Birds had come to save us. They had come and killed the evil humans. That is what I thought. But you have been granted a great power. You are one of the chosen few. I left the orphanage with my one remaining sibling, and we lived in an apartment. But I was weak and couldn't go to school or get a job. I was nothing but a burden. And then I received the invitation. We wish to welcome you with special treatment. How would you like to study at the world's foremost avian school? We will provide anything you need, anything at all. There is a hospital on the school grounds. We will provide a room for you to live there. You shall receive all the care you require. I was living with my brother. I did not want to leave him, but if I continued to live with him, I would only hold him down. He was happy to hear that I would have a chance to improve my physical condition, and so I enrolled at Saint Pigeon Nations. I was still weak, and so I often stayed at home. I had no friends, but I was not unhappy. The nurses and the faculty were all very kind to me. And then, early in my first summer vacation, the doctor made a proposal to me. The, this vacation is the perfect opportunity. Would you like to undergo intensive treatment? You will have to stay inside for some time, but by the end of the summer, you should be as healthy as any other bird in the school. And so began a long summer in the underground facility. First, a routine of daily examinations and numerous medications. And then the experiments began, the experiments to kill humans. A human would be brought to me. They would struggle and gasp, and then, with the last painful sigh, they would stop moving. I knew why I was brought here. Living in my body was a virus deadly to humans in a matter of minutes. My parents, whose faces I never knew, were killed by humans. Everyone else in the orphanage was killed by humans, and in return. I killed another human with each experiment, simply by standing in the same room as me, by breathing the same air as me. They would collapse. I couldn't stand it. I had no reason not to hate them, but watching them die in front of me shaved away at my heart little by little. And so I decided to end it all. I had only one wish. I wanted, I wanted to disappear from this world without a trace. Crazy, right? The story. Bird flu. <laughs> It's bird. Flu. He's got bird flu and he kills people. <laughs> Crazy, right? This is the story. It's a pretty. It's a pretty cool story if you think about it. But it's it's just hidden behind so much junk. It's hidden behind so much trash. The Caron virus. The deadliest. The deadly guest that made its home. In my body, that's what they called it. No doubt they were searching for a way to destroy humanity with that virus. That was Operation Hatafo. Yes, that's why I. That's why I burned it all. Burned it all five years ago. There should have been nothing left, but I am not here. But maybe, just maybe, there's still something left somewhere, and I can feel him close by. My, Mr. Kawara, are you going? To the basement. I don't have a choice. To find a way out of here alive, and to find out why they killed Hiyoko, I need to ask the doctor. I see. That encyclopedia. What else is inside? Oh, a piece of paper folded up along with the files. This is a map of the medical center. How convenient! When I was there, I went through the medical center. 
but it must connect to the main building somewhere near here. That looks like the gym, so those stairs are... I believe it is in the chemistry preparation room. The researchers often went in there. The doctor is beneath the preparation room. Thank you, Nageki, I have to go. Yes, I think you'll be seeing me again, and... Miss Tosaka as well. Seventh class! Two more to go! Bi biological wolf bird flu? The birds have bird flu and they were trying to develop a biological weapon to kill all humans here? That's the story? <laughs> Insane. Insane. This is the actual story. I don't know why. Why did they hide it? Why did they hide it behind the, the dating sim? Or put it another way. Okay, they could have hidden it behind the dating sim. But why did they make the dating sim so bad? Like the story here, the story, like the writing seems to get better. Like it's, it is like the, the more I read it, the less I mind the story. Like it feels like it's getting better. Like it was kind of overly verbose at the beginning, and then it kind of gets better and better and better. But why, if they could write a good story at the end, why did they not write a good story at the beginning as well? Like, why did they have all that really just kind of bad stuff at the start? I don't get it. I don't, I don't get the decisions that they made in this game. Because they can write a good story, they just didn't. And so you have to you have to go through hours and hours of bad stuff to get to the good stuff.